I kind of feel like I'm in this alternate universe. It's just been like a whirlwind of emotions. Looking at the rest of your family go through it as well, that's what's most painful, is to watch my parents go through what they're going through every day. I move back in, I wake up in my old bedroom, I see across the hall her bedroom. I, I know she's not there, but I still expect her to come out. Joanna was 30. She uh, died from an allergic reaction. She's been allergic to nuts her entire life. My mom immediately knew what was happening. Uh, she's a working nurse. Eventually my sister passed out from suffocation, so my mom had to start CPR on her own daughter. We ended up in ICU. The doctors had deemed her clinically brain dead. But she was healthy. Her left and right kidneys, her liver, and her heart. She ended up saving four lives. I think the best way of explaining what we're feeling is it's like having possession of something nuclear. On one side, you could take this nuclear core and I can create a bomb out of it. I can cause devastation and destruction. I can self-destruct inside. I can have a kill relationships over the course of time. But I think on the other side of things, this nuclear core can also be used to power things. I can create a power plant around it. I can have it power things for progression. So I think what we're dealing with right now is, is learning how to redirect this negative energy to something positive. And I think that's where fate was born. Now, FATE stands for Food Allergy Training and Education. It's an initiative my parents and I founded to educate the public on the severity of food allergies and how life-threatening they can be. It's unfortunate that it happened to us, but now we're going to use this traumatic experience to hopefully spread a message and make a difference. But if for nothing else, what I want people to take away from this is that you will go through things in your life that could cause this nuclear feeling. And it could cause you to self-destruct. It's all about redirecting that energy now. Turning it into something positive. Using it as fuel. It's not about trying to forget what happened. It's about learning to live with it and allowing it to be a part of your life.